Page, Shreveport, New Good evening, I'm Mimi Page. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Robert Thompson. The Shreveport Crawdads played their first home game before a respectable crowd tonight at Hurst Coliseum. Bob Griffin joins us to tell us a little bit about the game and also about the crowd. Were they enthusiastic? Without a doubt, Mimi. Time. They don't, they're not back yet. But, but you, uh, know, you know what it is? The people really are confused about what a crawdad really is and what do you do with it. So we're going to find out more about that from Sandra Samuel a little bit later. Actually, they tell me we've got it oh, now. Good. Let's go to Sandra. We'll be back with more on the game itself coming up in sp a heart-wrenching story out of Chicago today as a man and his wife bury their six children in front of hundreds. Other children bury today their deaths intentional. Their father... In international news, the fighting in Bosnia is forcing the United Nations to fight back. Today, the UN Security Council voted unanimously to allow NATO airstrikes in response to Bosnian Serb aggression. Alan Pizzi reports. If you watched the popular TV show Walker, Texas Ranger on KSLA tonight, you might have noticed some familiar places and faces. If you missed out, don't worry. Here's a look behind the scenes of tonight's Walker, Texas Ranger episode shot in East Texas. Like a map, yeah, really. <laughs> you know, with all those coordinates on it, don't do that. He'll put a hook in his yeah. mouth fast. Okay, how about weather when we wake? Things are on uh, Sunday. The big deal is the pro game tomorrow, and uh, Tony will have, I think, uh, we're going to have somebody with the Dallas Cowboys game, so tomorrow night at 10, he'll have sound bites and all that. Also, what happened to the Saints tomorrow? Okay, we'll be back at 5.30 tomorrow with some good food for you. You don't want to miss that. Have a good night. See Just saw Bo Williams arrive at his campaign headquarters looking very much uh, with the confident of uh, an apparent victor. He didn't declare himself a winner yet, but it didn't look far off from the mark on that. His supporters very happy. What's the feeling there at the Kerry campaign? Is there still a sense of optimism that perhaps this could change before the night's over? Well, Carl, we just got word of more numbers coming in. Kerry supporters themselves have just been told that with 100% reporting, Kerry lost the race. 61% of